seemed like guys were on pitches all night long. Did you feel like it was a matter of time till the offense got going a little bit? Yeah, uh, yes. Um, felt like there were definitely some good at bats happening, even when he was holding us down a little bit. You know, they made some really good plays, especially to start off innings. You know, the play on Geo to start the second, the dive on uh, Mickey the next inning. Um, but it was good to see the guys continue to put on pressure and continue to have good at bats from there. You know, there's been times this year where we've had some good at bats and got a little momentum going and just haven't had one fall. And then we've kind of stalled out a little bit. And that certainly wasn't the case tonight. Everyone kind of had a hand in it up and down the order. Um, I thought Monty threw the ball really well. Um, even that first inning, you know, where, you know, they just threw some out there on him. Um, you know, so... <laughs> Definitely good good to come out and, and you know play a complete game. You mentioned Montgomery. What went into your decision there to leave him in instead of going to Lewisaga? Um yeah, just wanted him to work through it. I just felt like he was in such a good groove. Um, you know, after throwing 29 pitches in that first inning, you know, it was just uh, you know, he was dialed in, even going through that third time through the order, was dialed in, gave him a chopper the other way on the hit. You know, just wanted to see if we could get him through that. You know, probably not the right decision, obviously, with the result there. Um, but yeah, I just felt like I wanted him to get through it. And um, with, with, I just felt he was in control of the game. Gary Sanchez provided some insurance runs there late. What has looked different about him at the plate over the last two weeks? It seems like he's getting into more of a groove. Yeah, he's just pitch selection's been good. It's quieted down his, his lower half. He's worked really hard to kind of make a adjustment over here the, over the last three, four weeks. And, you know, we're seeing results, you know. He, he's actually hit into a lot of tough luck again tonight. You know, smokes a ball. I think the base is loaded there. Hits at 113 right at the shortstop. Um, you know, the walk's been in there a little bit. You know, I feel like he's handling more pitches. And, and it's it's been because he's worked. And, and it's been because he's made some adjustments. And, you know, he's starting to get some results there. Ken David, up. You have the next question. Hey, Aaron. Uh, regarding Gary, you know, not just a matter of him hitting better, but just kind of climbing out of that, you know, that, that circle of hell he was in, you know, in terms of a, just constantly being asked, you being asked questions about him and, and that level of scrutiny and just, just what is it like to see him really climb out of that? It's been great. Um, you know, he's, he's, like I said, I, you know, he's never wavered. I think, you know, in his confidence, his work has been excellent on both sides of the ball. Um, I feel like he's doing a really good job behind the plate as well. Um, he's got a long way to go still as a lot of us do to to continue to get to where we need to go but without question i think the last few weeks um you know it, it's been more consistency um all around for gary thanks man we'll go back to meredith Aaron, with some of that consistency, do you pretty much consider Gary now your, your everyday catcher again? I know you were kind of splitting time a lot more with Agashioka, but has he earned himself more starts and more time? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I've been running him out there more of late, um, and, and he'll continue to earn that. But, you know, it doesn't take away the confidence I have in Higgy when he's back there and what he can provide, too. So, um, you know, they'll both continue to play, you know. Obviously, you know, we know when Gary is is going, what a, you know, what a difference maker he can be, um, you know, and, and that coupled with, I think he's doing a really, really nice job behind the plate. Miguel Andujar has made the comment several times, the consistent at-bats have helped him find his groove a little bit. Just what have you seen from him at the plate and how much of an asset could he be if he's locked into a struggling lineup? Yeah, I mean, especially hitting down towards the bottom, um, you know, a couple more really good, a few more really good at bats tonight, you know, the hit the other way in the inning where we took the lead, smoked the ball his first time up that Ostadio made a great play, obviously the homer to put the really put the game away and give us some, some insurance and he worked a walk. So that was that was good to see too. And, and, you know, he's been, he's been, he's been working hard. I feel like working really hard defensively in the outfield. Um, so, 
you know, there's playing time to be earned there and to be had there, and, you know, who wants to take it? 